So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this paper comb. I have half a mind not to actually add it to this though because I want to see if I can try it without that part. So what you do is make it almost like a waffle cone there. Stick it in there. And tape it obviously. That's where you're going to need tape. Now, you'll want to tape this into there because as you've seen through the whole video, this tends to fall over and that would fall out as this falls over. But I'm going to leave it untaped on there because I want to see if I can take it in and out at this point. So I'm going to leave it untaped, but I'm going to go ahead and tape the bottom part of the cone here. There we are. And this falls over a lot, it's very annoying. But you need to be able to lift that up and down. So, we've got our cone in here, we've got a reproducer in here. I'll put that right on top there. And this part is definitely necessary for sound reproduction. You can see that we're getting closer and closer to our pre-assembled one. And if I put that down, this is probably going to fall right out. I'm going to move it a little bit forward there. You can see it's going to fall right out. We're going to go ahead and put that over there. There we are. Okay, so now we've just completed step eight of the final assembly, and we're moving on to step nine, where we actually get into our recording. This is the exciting part. This is where, if you're doing this with kids, they're going to start to get excited. So we're going to go ahead and take the layer off. Now remember, this part is not where you're going to record on. This is actually protecting the aluminum foil tape that they've wound. Now you notice that this is in one or two layers. I can't decide whether I like one or two layers better. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, but what you'll find is you can pre-cut some aluminum foil tape with a paper cutter. That works out well. You can either use 14 inches and a bit to get around twice or you can cut them into seven inch lengths, and remember this is two inch wide aluminum foil tape. So this aluminum foil tape is what we're going to actually record on. I'm going to go ahead and feed this into here. Now there's two places to put this. You can see that there is a big hole, hang on, hang on, a big hole right there. So the screw part is going to feed through that big hole and then rest in there. And then in order to get this to work, actually, I forgot this part, you need to remember to feed it through our yellow. Remember that? Remember the yellow, the yellow belt? Well, we got to feed it through the yellow belt. Make sure we have it on straight. Get it this way. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down because it's easier to do it down here. So remember, feed it through the yellow belt. And you're going to need to remember that every time you take this off because you're going to need to take it off to reload the aluminum foil tape. So I'm going to put it through there. And then it fits through another hole in the outside. You're going to put the yellow belt around. There we go. The yellow belt around. We've got this in that hole there. And we've got it all assembled. We're nearly ready to record. Isn't that exciting? Now, a couple notes on recording here. It talks about making sure that you put a groove in with your fingernail. And that's very, very important. Make sure you do this. So I'm going to go ahead and pre groove it with my fingernail. If you don't do that, then you have a hard you might have a hard time getting your needle to actually find groove and you can see where I've pre pre-grooved it there. 
And you definitely, definitely want to do that. That's not a part to skip. It talks about doing that. You definitely want to do that part. We're going to go ahead and put that needle right in the groove. And you can use a flashlight if you need to, because sometimes put the needle right in the groove, make sure the needle goes right in the groove. Now the next important part is to make sure this feeder arm, see how there's a gap there? Make sure it's actually touching there. And make sure that you have a weight on that feeder arm, because I'll show you on the other one. Remember, if that feeder arm doesn't have a weight on it, that feeder arm doesn't have weight on it, it's going to go clunk, 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 clunk. And it, has, it may have trouble turning. So you want to make sure that you put the, rate, the weight on the feeder arm. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then you need one, two weights for recording. Now we're nearly ready to record, which is very, very exciting. Um, this is the part where the kids are going to get all excited and it may or may not work, so have patience. It took us probably three days to actually get a recording to work. We've nearly assembled our Edison phonograph from kit from Science Quiz and Dr. Penny Norman. And this is the very exciting part because this is the part where you might actually be able to hear your voice recorded. We've Notice a couple of things about this. Have patience. Sometimes it's very loud, there's a lot of background noise, and you may or may not hear something right away. The other thing we've noticed is the higher the voice, the higher voices seem to work better. So you might want to be tempted to go, Mary had a little lamb, but try with a little higher pitch and we'll see if that works a little better. Um, the other thing is to make sure that you have your weights. We may even put additional weights if we have trouble. Make sure that your needle is in the groove that you've made. Make sure your feeder arm is touching there. And there are two other things. So we're going to go ahead and put this recording cone in here. But I want to show you something. The kit comes with this handy megaphone. And your temptation would be to put the megaphone like so. But no, no, no. No, 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 no. You're going to want to put the megaphone over the other megaphone so you can go shout, 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 shout. However, something you got to watch out for. When this megaphone is on here, especially kids are going to have a tendency to push back on it. And if you see there, the needle is up. So as you're going shout, 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 the needle is actually not touching the recording head and you're not recording anything at all. So I find sometimes that even though this is nice, it doesn't necessarily help because it does gather your voice, but the tendency is to push back on here when you have it and lift the needle right up out of there. So that's up to you whether you want to use it, but I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. And it may you might want to say a few things before you go. So I'm going to go ahead and... Wish me luck. And turn this on. Hello, we are recording Dr. Janet Science Planet. Hello, we are recording Dr. Janet Science Planet. And as you can see, this on off switch worked just fine. But it, there was a delay, oh, and you can see that there's some nice thick grooves in that, so hopefully we'll get some nice playback from there. And that on-off switch worked just great. This on-off switch, however, even though you've got to push it in, it gives you a little bit less control. Now you can see that the grooves on here are definitely not as nice. as the grooves on this one. And I think the difference there is that this needle, again, is nice and straight. And I'm going to go ahead and move that back now while I've got it up. So we're going to have to move it back for playback and see if we can get anything. Make sure your needle is, you got to make sure the needle is in that groove. 
and that the feeder arm is touching. I'm going to take one of these weights off. There we go. Put that back in the groove. Make sure it's in the groove. There we go. And like I said, I think the difference between those nice big strong grooves and these sort of wimpy grooves is that this one from the one we, we made before is definitely bowed and bent. So we, if we can make that nice and straight, we might get better grooves in there. So let's go ahead and give it a try for playback. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm going to go ahead and move this, oops, move this over. I'm going to switch it from record to play. And I've taken off one of the weights. And let's listen and hope. Well, there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed our assembly of the Edison Phonograph Sound Kit from Science Whiz and Dr. Penny Norman. This has been Dr. Janet's Science Planet. Stay tuned for more assembly videos, unboxing videos, and episodes of Dr. Janet's Science Planet. Have fun!